Hi guys, Pin here. Welcome back, or welcome if it's your first time. I hope you enjoy what we're going to go on today. Has been a while since you guys have seen me in here because it's been a few weeks since I last went out to take photos. And today the conditions are right because the rain has finally stopped. So there's one place in particular I want to go to. It's called Camp Cove. Sorry, there's a bunch of kids here in the parking lot. Fingers crossed the conditions are good. I am running a bit late. So I'm going to stop faffing. Let's cue the music. Let's hit the road and... I'll see you guys when I get there. Hopefully we'll get something good and I might stop at, there's a school on the way back that I want to get at night because at night it looks like Hogwarts out of Harry Potter. So well, fingers crossed I can get that one too. But yeah, now I'll stop talking and now we'll hit the road. I'll see you in a bit. So this location's done, as you can see everywhere is pitch black now. So I'm using my head torch to light me up so you guys can see me. I'm gonna pack up from here, head back down the road for a bit to get that school, hopefully it's lit up, and then we'll call it a night. So I'm gonna pack up for now and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, just parked. I can see the top of the school and I can see a clear view of the Harbour Bridge from where I am. So hopefully I can get both in the same shot or if not, I'll just do a panel. Let's see what happens when I get down there. I might try using the night filter as well. Actually, I will, I will use it and then we'll just see how it goes, whether they're any good or not. And I'll see you guys afterwards. So guys, hope you like those pictures. I was very fortunate with the way things turned out at Camp Cove. I wasn't sure which one I should have gone with at the end. You know, it's like that when you get to a location like that, you have to choose one or the other. I chose one that I thought looked better and turned out in my favor, I think. Next time I head back, which I don't know when, to be honest, it'll be when the conditions are good. I might try the first composition and that way at least I have a comparison between the two. I mean, granted the clouds and the lighting won't be identical, but at least I'll know for a third time if I ever go back. And that's sometimes just the way it is when you get to a location, you've got to choose one or the other. And I couldn't do both because the spot where I was seated at the end to get the pictures I did wasn't the easiest to get to and I wouldn't have been able to pack up and quickly get to the other spot and find the right composition and the right lighting in time I would have just missed out on all the good lights so I thought you know what stay put get the best pictures I can and then next time I head back I'll try the second time around because the good thing is 
that beach isn't going anywhere and I don't think that shed's going anywhere either. And it's a nice spot to go to as well, if, even if you just want to lay on the beach for a couple hours. Although in Sydney you probably shouldn't lay on the beach for a couple hours unless you want to burn quite badly. And also I was very lucky with the school right at the end because literally two minutes after I finished, uh, they turned the lights off on the Harbour Bridge. On the pylons specifically I should say, because it was Earth Hour, they kept the lights on on the road. But yeah, those pylons went black. And I was like, what's going on? Got home, googled it, found out, it's like, oh, okay. And I did try the night filter. It just didn't work. I'm not sure if I'll use it again. It might be something that should be dedicated to the city. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. And I may put up one of them from Camp Cove from today as a print. We'll see. I have to get it tested out first. And speaking of prints, before I forget, shameless plug, I know. Don't forget, all prints are 30% off until it's Thursday or Friday next week, whatever the 15th of April is. And everything, all proceeds are going straight to those communities here in New South Wales affected by the floods. The only thing we hear about it lately is that the roads can't be used for a while, but we don't hear how the communities are doing. When I think if we can give to them, we should. So that would be my little part of giving to them. Just I mean, little, every little bit helps, I think. I'll leave it there today, though, because next week, as you'll see, it's I head out on Easter Sunday to do for a bit, go for. Well, I try to go for a walk around the city, but as you'll see, it's much more crowded than I anticipated it would be for an Easter Sunday where practically everything except Circular Key is closed. So if you want to make sure you don't miss out on that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell to make sure you get a notification every time a new video comes out. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up as well. That'd be greatly appreciated. I'll leave it there for now, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, your night, whatever time it is that you're watching this. It's night here and dinner's calling me. So have a good night, everyone.